yesterday, yeah, and now it's all about tomorrow. Lois Baccio from Child and Family Center um, Foundation, my good friend and uh, philanthropist in the Santa Cruz Valley, and I'm glad to have you on the show. Welcome. Thank you, Fred. So happy to be here this morning. Well, we're going to talk about a few things specifically. I know the Child and Family Center has been serving families in Santa Cruz Valley for so long. 37 years. Yeah, and great tradition of helping others. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about uh, therapeutic preschool, something that's new. Yeah, well, we just had our first anniversary and taken on our second class of 10 little four-year-olds. Wow. And uh, it's really great. Uh, you know, our whole thing is about prevention and early intervention. And what could be better than to look after some special kids that really need some, uh, some, some care early on to prevent something major that could occur later on in life. Yeah, love and support. Uh, bright beginnings, and that's what you're calling it, correct? That's correct. Tell us what, a little more, more about the program. Those that want to get involved, how can they get involved? How can they get their children enrolled? Tell me, tell me more. Well, you know, the children come to us for through referrals and through identification in the community. There's something called uh, the Early Childhood um, Community Outreach that where our therapists go to preschools throughout the valley and give them some instruction on how to identify issues that could be explosive later on in life. And through that process, we identify these t 10 kids. It's really not something per se that a parent signs up for. However, if any parent feels that they need special help with any child from zero to age 25, they can call us and get some instruction. And look for help. a solution to that. Yes, yeah. exactly. Let's talk about um, your relationship with something that's important to me, Habitat for Heroes. Well, you know that uh, we were so blessed when Habitat for Humanity came to us and said, we're going to do this thing and we want it to be an enriched neighborhood, which means that they want to offer some services that might be supportive to the veterans and the veteran families. Other than just having a house, some of them, as you know, Fred, come home uh, from their deployments with some pretty serious issues, emotional health issues, and also the reintegration into the family unit is a very big challenge for these people, particularly if they've had a three, four, five terms of service over there and uh, just have gotten out of touch in terms of being mom or dad, and the kids certainly have been uh tossed around somewhat during that period. Now, they're going to build, I think it's 87 homes just right across the street, correct. really, from from the uh, Child and Family Center. That's correct. So you're going to have veterans come back, some very stable, some not so stable, um, where uh, they're used to solving their problems in a different way. Exactly. Um, and certainly, they're going to need your advice as an organization on how to assimilate back into the community. Right. We've got a special program that, we're, that we have um, uh, started for them. It's called FOCUS, and it, we were trained for this, especially at UCLA. And it's a program that's uh, a 12 to 16 week program for uh, families, the whole family unit. We, we work with the children independently, uh, the parents independently, and then together as a group to learn how, once again, to get together. What are their issues? Uh, and how to talk freely amongst themselves and how to, once again, develop that family unit. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, that bond is so important. Uh, mental health seems to be the subject that few, you know, fewer and fewer want to talk about, especially the community. You know, well, We don't have that issue. We don't want that issue. It's not here, not in my backyard. Yeah, it's a big but that's, stigma. But that's really important to the overall health of a community, isn't it? It is, absolutely, and I, I think that because of recent issues with uh, mass shootings in schools and in the mall and in the uh, uh, the race in Boston and all these kinds of, of course, that was terrorism, but uh, when... Well, that was mental health problems, though, too, <laughs> to bet. an extent, right? You bet, and in fact, some of the, the, the those boys probably, if identified a little bit earlier, might not have gone in that direction, mm -hmm. uh, the Al-Qaeda direction. Mm -hmm. But so, um, you know... As I, as I said earlier, this uh, prevention and early intervention is so important. And, you know, we've established a program, uh, been part of an international project, really, called Mental Health First Aid at Child and Family Center, which is uh, intended for just ordinary uh, citizens who are interested in learning how to identify issues that might be mental health, emotional health related, and might need uh, some 
extra support. And so it's uh, um, we teach this. Uh, we're, our next class is uh, November eighth and November sixteenth at our at our center. They can anybody who's interested in taking the course can go online and and register for that, Fred. But I took it, and <laughs> you know it doesn't take long to uh, you're sitting there in the classroom and you go, oh, that was Uncle Fred's issue. I'm yeah, sorry. really. I had an uncle. That's all right. There are Not a few. you, Fred, but and I had one okay. in my family that was a little <laughs> dicey. Anyhow, so um, it's really an exciting program. We're so glad to be doing it. At this point, there's no cost to participants, but if you have anybody that you know that's like an HR professional or is running a small business and needs to know more about what makes people tick and they're concerned about what might set someone off on the uh, a destructive and dangerous path. Uh, it's a terrific program to take. Yeah, well thank you. Thanks for all you do. Um, those that want to reach out to the Child and Family Center, you're located? Out on Center Point Parkway, 21545 Center Point, right next to the Hart School District, across from Bowman. Most everybody knows where we are. Yeah, over by and the now, uh, bowling alley, across the way from the bowling alley. And there's yeah. a great big construction site right across the street That's now. right, it's Habitat very for Heroes. So uh, thank you very much for coming in. Thanks so much, Fred, for L having me. Ladies and gentlemen, Lois Baccio from the Child and Family Center Foundation. I hope you enjoyed this segment of the Santa Creta Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight on AM 1220 KHTS.